successful tradings. Uh, we are going to take the time here. It's about uh, 9.05 Eastern time. The markets will be opening shortly to share some of the trade that uh, we want to start the fourth quarter with today being October 1st. So before we do that, this is a trade on QQQ yesterday uh, during the last, um, my chart here is a three minutes. And to have also during the last 45 minutes or so, uh, actually the last hour or so, the 487 call expiring on on uh, September 30th, so uh, zero DTE as a zero day to trade, uh, zero day to expiration, <laughs> as some, some, some of you know, uh, it went from three cents to two dollars and four cents. Yeah, this is the type of trade that uh, we have been highlighting here, the 10 baggers or, or anything. So yeah, we will be lucky enough if we can even reiterate, let's just say a fraction of this type of trade. But the possibility is definitely there because this, uh, as we are going to see through the technical analysis here shortly, uh, there are some great sets up across the board, including uh, QQQ. So in terms of um, trades, uh, that's uh, stock that we are looking at. Obviously, we have our watch list. So from there, let's go to uh, and take a look at a couple of charts that's, uh, that caught my attention since actually a, a few days ago. Uh, mainly, I'm using this uh, this app here that's really help in terms of charting. So if it will abide and help us go through. So I would like to go to the chart of Apple. Here is Apple on here and let's maximize this one. Uh, we are looking at three months daily. Uh, the setup I'm looking at here on, uh, this is NVIDIA, my bad. Let, let me go back and get Apple if we can. Why will we asking, asking for, uh, okay, here's Apple. Okay, because this here uh, is known as a triple top, yeah? Uh, at least as of now. Let's see if the rejection after yesterday, a breakout, this uh, attempt to break out above 230, two times already. Uh, by the end of August, it was rejected above 230. And then mid-August, about a week ago or so, uh, it was also again rejected at 2.30. So yesterday, it closed significantly above 2.30 at 2.33. But as of this morning, I think it's gapping down a little bit for me. I just like this setup because the, the, the here, only two things can happen. Either this stock really uh, goes above 2.35 and has confirmation, or it will get rejected again. And we could be looking within... Uh, a couple of weeks here, by the way, within a couple of weeks, that will be uh, earning season. Earning season starts October 15. So Apple earning, I think they, they, they could be more toward the end of October. But we are not really looking for earning before the earnings. Some we will have to come to a resolution here to see which direction it goes. But at, for this week, definitely, it's one of our, uh, our, our the stock that we have on our watch list and we're paying close attention to Apple. So here, if I'm trading puts, yeah, I could be taking anywhere from uh, uh, 225 to 220 puts expiring uh, October 4th. No no issue with that. Uh, I think I have even the price for that. Do I have the price for that? If uh, How much are they going for right now? So the 220 puts, they're going for 14 cents as of yesterday. So my friend, if you have those, is screaming a potential 10 bagger. All right, next one the next potential stock that uh, we're definitely keeping an eye here for a keen eye on uh for this one we have been tracking it for a while now this is meta's stock chart this is the daily chart again showing the last three months so we are trading a three month high we love this type of setup for those who have attended our teaching here at successful trading through the one-on-one -on -one coaching you know we have gone through this so a stock doing something new for the first time Three month high. So, but what do we see here over the last five days? I call this um, the, the, this one. A, a, there's a case of a convergent divergence, right? So, I mean, five days ago, uh, we tried to go above 570, rejected. The following day, we went, we came down below 560. Then we try again at 570, rejected. Another rejection. Another rejection. Yesterday, we are above 570, and this morning, I believe. Uh, for Meta, Meta is trading at 577 on some news or whatever. Okay, either only two things can happen here. A breakout, which will be giving us higher prices, or a rejection. And should this rejection come, my friend, we will be lucky if we can get into some puts. Uh, this morning, I'm going to put my order in 555 puts expiring October 4th. And I want to get them for less than 50 cents. If I got those, I'm pretty sure that uh, there's some money to be made. 
by expiration in four days time. All right, so we talked about Apple, we talked about Meta. Uh, there is a series of stocks here that I'm going to <laughs> give you three stock for the price of one or four stock for the price of one, if you will. The, the, the stock from China or the, the Chinese stock, if you will. The charts are pretty much similar. Here is Baba here. Buy, this is Baidu first here. They have been gapping up consistently over last week. Baidu, for instance, has went from over the last six days, went from 87.5 to over 110. It could not sustain that yesterday. It closed at 105.2. These mornings, uh, they are oscillating from green to red or whatever, but that's fine. Uh, for me, really, if I go to the next one, uh, so that was Baidu. Here is Baba, if you will. Baba, actually, yesterday, huge, there was money to be made yesterday on Baba here on this candle, huge candle from 112 or 113 to a close of 106. So similarly, uh, two things can happen. Either these, these, these stock come back to the mean or they are breaking out uh, bigly. Here's JD, similar to the previous two, uh, Baidu and Baba. JD is way trading outside of the upper Bollinger, folks. Uh, for those who know my trading style, I love this type of setup. So rejection yesterday at 42, close at 40. But look at these gaps. One, two, three gaps, major gaps. Four gaps are actually going all the way to 27. I'm not saying that they're going all to be resolved today or, or this week. For me, actually, for a stock like JD, I would like to be patient here and maybe go for October 11. And I'm looking at uh, 32, 32, 33 puts there, there about. These are super cheap. They're going to cost you less than 5 cents, less than 10 cents, definitely. And my friend, you have enough time to sit tight and start adding to that position as you are making money or actually you're waiting for a resolution of this. So that's JD. Last but not least on uh, the four for one <laughs> type of uh, stock. Pinduru, I love this. I love this stock. No, I'm just fun of the, the name. I like seeing the name on here. Okay, this chart, it's one of those. About a month ago, over a month ago, so earning came in and the stock tumbled from 140 all the way to $90. And since then, it has gone through nice recovery all the way. It has made it pretty much all the way because yesterday it traded at 142 or even 143 and then it retrieved. Uh, the 128 we traded the 128 puts yesterday they made some decent money but there's nothing compared to what is to come later on this week because from here only two things can happen either it goes above 150 which would be a three month high or we have to fill this huge gap between 115 and 125 or even this another this other one below which is at uh, between uh, 102 and 107. So my friend, I'm all over the, the, the stock. So you have to pick on here. So uh, out of the four, personally, I like to trade JD and Pindudu, but either one that uh, you take out of the four. Last stock for the road. One more, one more, one more, one more chart to, to review. Uh, that's a like. Uh, Micron, uh, here is MU. This is, that's the, the ticker for, for this one. Here is daily charts, okay? I don't have the indicators here as usual, but my friend, let's just say you can uh, look at it and see that it was a little bit overbought and uh, since the earning uh, three days ago and now has come down on here. But with this one, you never really know. I mean, does it going to come and fill uh, the gap, the huge gap here? Uh, but for us, we definitely can get into this one uh, by trading, I mean, uh, we have been on the 100 call, uh, put since uh, since uh, the, the, the earning three days ago. So we want to see here really uh, if they want to close this gap by Thursday on here. So that's about uh, what we have for today. Uh, enjoy the video. And uh, if you want to find more and learn more about, we have our one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, trading session at Successful Trading. Thank you. Bye-bye.